Hey, what's up YouTube? Jeremiah Hersey here. Welcome back to the next PL300 test prep question. Today we're going to be talking about data modeling once again and we're going to be looking at a data model and trying to improve the efficiency by looking at the relationships and how we can change the relationships. Now, there's a couple of different things that we need to understand and so I'm going to give a brief demonstration and then we're going to jump right into our question. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to talk about is cardinality. And so as we look at the traditional star schema, so the star schema is consistent with having a fact table surrounded by a dimension table. And so we've talked about this in a previous video. And so this is the typical star schema that you're going to see inside of Power BI, where you're going to have several dimension tables that are surrounding a fact table. And the ideal relationship between a dimension and a fact table is going to be that one to many relationship where the dimension is the one side and the fact table is going to be the many side of the relationship. This relationship type is known as the cardinality. So the cardinality is the type of relationship it is. So in this case, there's a one to many relationship in the star schema going from the dimension table to the fact table. With cardinality, you have several different options available here. And so the one that we see here already is the one to many. So we have a one to many. We also have a many to many. And we also have a one to one. So this is known as the cardinality, the type of relationship. Once again, a one to many relationship is a fact table surrounded by dimension tables. And this is the ideal setup for Power BI is this star schema. Now, the cardinality, once again, is the one to many relationship or many to many or one to one. Ideally, we want to have a one to many relationship between the dimension and the fact tables. And so typically we're gonna see, also see the filter direction. I'm gonna try to draw a filter arrow here. And so typically we'll have a filter arrow in the direction from the one side to the many. So think of the arrow kind of like a pipe and water flows through that pipe in the direction that the arrow is pointing. So in this case, the one side is going to filter the many side. So the dimension table filters the fact table. And so this is known as a single filter direction. So the filter direction here is single and that is typical of what you're gonna see in the star schema. Now with filter direction, you're gonna have two choices. So filter direction, you're either going to have the single filter direction or you're gonna have a cross filter. Now a cross filter allows the filtering to happen in both directions. And so this typically happens when you have a many to many relationship. So ideally you wanna have a one to many, but sometimes the cardinality is gonna be different and you're gonna have this many to many relationship. And so in that case, you would have a filter direction that might be a cross filter. And so in this case, you would see double arrows, one pointing in each direction, which means that like a water in the pipe, it can flow either from the dimension table to the fact table or from the fact table to the dimension table. So we have a single filter direction or we have what's known as a cross filter direction. So this would be the cross filter direction. Now, we also have a schema that's known as the snowflake schema. So the snowflake schema is built off of the star schema so in this case you would have two sets of dimensions here and so from here we might have factory so this is going to be our factory dimension 
and then we can also have maybe a geography dimension as well. So the way that this snowflake schema, so this over here is known as a snowflake schema. So it expands upon the star schema. And it's just an extension, it's multiple dimension layers. And so inside of our fact table, we would have something like the factory ID. And that factory ID would be here and this would be a one to many depending on your model but typically this is what you want to try to have for your dimension tables you would also have a one to many here as well potentially and in the factory table you would also have a geography id and then that geography id would then be used for the relationship to go to the geography table. So this is known as a snowflake schema. Once again, it's an extension of the star schema. And so there's a lot of different ways that we can build a model, but we wanna start always with the star schema. And then if we need to, we'll move to the snowflake schema. Ideally have a single filter relationship. If we have to, then we would use a cross filter direction but this does open up for potential problems when using DAX. If the filter is happening both ways, it would travel to both of the dimension tables. And so as we look at our test prep question, just understanding the terminology is important. So let's go ahead and get started. So it says you have a Power BI imported data set that contains the data model shown in the following exhibit. Use the drop down menus to choose your answer choice. And so the first thing that we want to point out here is the data type. So as we look here at the top, it says that we have an imported data set. So this is important here, imported data set. And so that means that we're not using direct query. So it's imported into our Power BI model. We also see that the filter direction on a majority of these relationship is both. So we have our one to many relationship for our dimension tables going to our fact table. And so this is typical of a star schema. You can see how it kind of makes the star here, but a lot of our relationship, in fact, all of them are this cross filter direction. So this means that if I filter something over here in the FP table, it's going to translate to all the other tables. So it would first filter to the fact table and then it would filter out to every single table. And so this is potentially an issue here as we have cross filter direction turned on to every single relationship with inside of this model here. And so, as we look at that, it's just important to understand that this is not an ideal scenario for us. We wanna make sure that if possible, that we have that single filtered relationship from the dimension table to the fact table. So as we look at our question down here at the bottom, it says changing the answer choice setting of the relationship, and this should say choice, not choke. So that's a misprint there, so sorry about that. Changing the answer choice setting of the relationships will improve report query performance. And so we talked about cardinality, we talked about cross filter direction. Let's talk about assume referential integrity real quick before we answer this question. So assume referential integrity is for direct query only. And so what this does is this is going to use a instead of a outer join, it's gonna use an inner join, but this is only for direct query data sources. So when we're talking about referential integrity, this is only for direct query, and there are some parameters that have to be in place in order for this to even be a option for us. But we see here at the top that this is a imported data set, 
So we can go ahead and eliminate assume referential integrity because that is specifically used in direct query data and we have an imported data set. So that gets eliminated automatically. And so the first choice here is cardinality. Remember the cardinality is either the one to many or many to many or one to one. And so as we see the cardinality for our dimension to our fact table is one to many everywhere. And so that's actually a good thing. One to many relationship is ideal for Power BI for your dimension table to your fact table in the star schema. And so we would not want to change the cardinality here. That's going to be okay. But what we do want to change is the cross filter direction. We want to change that to a single filter direction from the one side to the many side. And so that's what we would choose to improve report query performance is to change the cross filter direction to a single filter direction. And then the second part says the data model is organized into what? And so we have a star schema, a snowflake schema, and a denormalized table. A denormalized table is a flat file. You can think of it kind of like an Excel file. And so it has all of the data listed in it. It's not really in table form. It's just a flat file with all the data included. And so that is not what we're dealing with here. We're dealing with individual dimension tables and a central fact table. And so a denormalized table is not going to be an option for us here. And so we have left the star schema and the snowflake schema. Because we don't have an additional dimension table out here that's connecting to our model, that would be a snowflake schema. This is going to be a star schema, so that is gonna be the correct answer here. The data model is organized in a star schema, so we're gonna change the cross filter direction to single, and that this is a star schema. I wanna thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.